Good morning. Can Johanan rescue the people that have been taken captive? Our reading today comes to us from Jeremiah chapter 41, verses 9 to 15. Now the pit into which Ishmael had cast all the dead bodies of the men whom he had slain because of Gedaliah was the same one Asa the king had made for fear of Baasha king of Israel. Ishmael the son of Nethaniah filled it with the slain. Then Ishmael carried away captive all the rest of the people who were in Mizpah, and the king's daughters and all the people who remained in Mizpah, whom Nebuzaradan the captain of the guard had committed to Gedaliah the son of Ahikam. And Ishmael the son of Nathaniah carried them away captive and departed to go over to the Ammonites. But when Johanan the son of Kareah and all the captains of the forces that were with him heard of all the evil that Ishmael the son of Nathaniah had done, they took all the men and went to fight with Ishmael the son of Nathaniah. And they found him by the great pool that is in Gibeon. So it was when all the people who were with Ishmael saw Johanan son of Kareah and all the captains of the forces who were with him that they were glad. Then all the people whom Ishmael had carried away captive from Mizpah turned around and came back and went to Johanan, the son of Kareah. But Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, escaped from Johanan with eight men and went to the Ammonites. So after Ishmael slew Gedaliah, he gathered up all the people that were left. He took them captive and began to carry them away. And there's some interesting bits here. For example, the daughters of Zedekiah, the daughters of the king, Whoever takes over the daughters of the king is sort of claiming to themselves that they're the new ruler in town. Now, Ishmael had a pretty small force, only about a dozen guys that are actually mentioned here. Johanan and his captains were a significantly larger force. And so they go out after them and catch them. And the people who've been taken captive, now they all are glad to be uh, delivered. And they're going to come over now to Johanan's side. And Ishmael and his men, they try to get away. Some of them are or uh, don't make it, but others get away, and apparently they went on to the nation of Ammon. Now, it's hard not to be glad that Johanan's intervention allowed this group of people to get away, but they need to be a little bit careful here. They might find that being delivered by Johanan might not turn out to be the wonderful thing that it looks like at the moment, but we're getting ahead of ourselves a, a day or two here. Leaders who spend their life and energy respecting the people and truly doing good and investing their energies to do good for the people actually are a lot fewer than it seems like they should be. Leaders that work for the good of the people are remarkably rare, and leaders that are pursuing their own toxic agendas are remarkably common. And this is why Paul urges the Christian in his letter to Timothy in 1 Timothy 2 verse 2, he says that we should pray, he says, pray for all who are in authority, for kings and all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. So anybody who's in authority, presidents, kings, dictators, uh, people who are high in authority, we should pray for them basically that they won't get out of their place and mess things up for all the rest of us. We want to pray that we can live a quiet and peaceful life serving the Lord God with a minimum of interruption by others who are not driven by godly motives. And I think that's a pretty good call on Paul's part. Uh, we're not trying to disrespect anybody, but we want to serve Jesus. Jesus is our king. And it's kind of hard to have two kings, right? Can't serve God and mammon. You've really got to pick one out or the other. We as Christians have picked out Jesus. We're going to serve Jesus and we're going to be kind and respectful of other authorities, but our ultimate authority is the Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Father in heaven, we are looking today at the situation here. We're glad that these people were delivered from an unscrupulous bad guy, but maybe they've been delivered by someone else that's got problems. So, Lord, help us to always look to you and to human leaders, very distant third. You are our first leader. Help us and, and be our protector, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. So, yes, Johannes rescued them here, but we may soon be asking, who's going to rescue these people from Johannan? Have a really good day. In spite of some of these facts, the Lord Jesus is on his throne.